Good morning, this is the Shaman Oracle reading for Tuesday. Today I'm reading for Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. And this reading here is for Sagittarius. Welcome Sagittarius. The Moon and Stars Tarot card for you is the Knight of Wands. It's about entertainment, action and speed. And the meaning is immaturity. The Knight of Wands indicates a fast movement with high immature energy. And this results in very little planning, but with a focus on the dreams coming true. There is a lot of communication as situations move swiftly. New people enter your life as you travel and network. There may be a romantic temptation which you cannot ignore. Do not get too ahead of yourself and live in the present. This card shows action and being in the moment. There is a star message. Enjoy yourself and live in the present. The Mythic Goddess Tarot card that came out is the Six of Pentacles relating to generosity. <clears throat> the keywords are charity, goodwill and gratitude. Kindness and generosity are represented by the Six of Pentacles, especially if you have endured some difficulties. It means the beginning of a period when you not only have plenty for yourself, but can offer help to others. Sharing and caring are highlighted as we offer our time and resources to others. So this card could also represent somebody in your life who is very generous as well as symbolizing your role in giving to and helping others. It is a positive card that represents a strong sense of community signifying equality and fairness. It also reminds you that if you have been lucky, you should share your good fortune. And the divine tarot of the divine card that came out is the Nine of Cups. It relates to Iran. is an Arabic folktale called Tai al-Muluk and the Princess Dunya. The Nine of Cups represents a happy ending achieved in unexpected ways. Prince Tai al-Muluk fell in love with Princess Dunya but she refused any man. So he used trickery. He disguised himself as a woman in order to win her heart. The card is about dreams realized, <laughs> some, some fulfillment, pleasure, recognition and triumph. Well, I have to laugh about it. Well, sometimes we have to, to disguise ourselves, right? <laughs> to get something done in life. So, the next card is the Shaman's Dream Oracle card. And it is called the Spirit of the River. It's about movement toward adventure, addiction to problems, and allowing and trusting the current. The spirit of the river invites you to step into the flow, to stop swimming against or avoiding the current. Allow the waters to carry you downstream away from the whirlpools. It is time to heed the call of a new adventure waiting for you. Stop working on the problem for a while. The issue is not what it seems. 
it is your addiction to fixing what has gone bad that is consuming so much of your time. Work to create a greater good and a bad will resolve itself on its own. There is nothing that you can accomplish with more effort as the situations in your life right now are subject to forces beyond your control. Recognize this, step back and trust the flow. There is no loss of faith or lack of honor or integrity. It is simply the way things are at this moment. When this card appears, it is time to say yes to the next step of your journey. Your life is like a river, inevitably and inexorably flowing to the sea, which is your divine destination. So be fearless and release yourself to the rushing water in the middle of the stream. Whatever it is you are holding on to, the feelings, the thoughts, the beliefs about how things are or how they should or could be, can be fixed easily with the power of the spirit of the river. Simply let go and enjoy the trill, thrill and enjoy the thrill of the ride and all will be well. And the lovely animals oracle card is the dragon. The dragon is about protection, strength and visualization. The dragon says, I am a portal to other dimensions and I am here to protect and to strengthen you. I can help you overcome your inner fears. So visualize me, climb the stairs, step inside and watch my fire destroy all your dark thoughts. The strength is that you are mentally and physically strong. Opportunities are that you have visualizations which enable you to do everything you want. Weaknesses are that you are never satisfied with what you have and always want to have more demanding experiences. And some dangers are there are currently no new challenges in your past. That was the reading for you, Sagittarius. I do wish you a most wonderful whole week. Take care. Thanks for listening and goodbye.